The Indian Army is set to host the Army Day Parade 2025 in Pune for the first time on January 15, showcasing its advancements in military technology. The final rehearsal for the event was held on Saturday at the Bombay Engineering Group and Center and featured the Indian Army's robotic mules, also known as Quadrupedal Unmanned Ground Vehicles QUG Versus. The robotic mule is a high-endurance, agile, and durable all-weather ground robot for use in a broad range of unstructured urban and natural environments for defense applications. This can be considered as a force multiplier by helping to improve situational awareness, to lighten physical and cognitive workloads, and to enhance the sustainability of deployments. Can climb stairs and steep hills, scramble over rocks, able to operate on unstructured terrain, debris fields, etc. The system is IP67 rated for rugged durability and operates effectively in extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 40 to plus 55 degrees Celsius. With a walking endurance of 3 hours, with a 21-hour standby endurance in a sitting position, the robot can be mounted with a buffet of payloads such as small arm weapon systems, EO, thermal vision, loitering munitions, robotic arm, chemical and radioactivity detection giving our forces a tremendous tool for high-risk operations. The Army recently acquired 100 units of the ARCV mule system. These robotic mules are teleoperable and autonomous vehicles designed for various applications, including perimeter security, asset protection, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive operations, explosive ordnance disposal, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tasks. Comprising five main components, compute box, battery, front sensor head, rear sensor head, and legs, the robotic mule is equipped with advanced capabilities. These include obstacle and avoidance sensing with cameras, navigation in confined spaces, stair climbing, platform self-writing, and continuous operation for at least two hours. The mule can also relay real-time video and two-way audio, operate autonomously or on pre-programmed patrol routes, and function under adverse weather conditions and on variable terrain. These mules were procured under an emergency procurement, which allows contracts up to rupees 300 crores, the numbers are small. If the mules perform well, the army will go in for a larger procurement order. The robot is controlled by a remote device used by soldiers. The mules are basically for surveillance in mountainous terrain or when it is suspected that some terrorists are holding up. Risking a human life or that of a canine soldier does not make sense, a source said, explaining the rationale behind using such equipment. These machines can also carry small arms and can engage with the enemy as and when needed, the source added. China has already inducted robotic dogs into its military. In May this year, Chinese army unveiled its newest recruit, a gun-toting robot dog, demonstrating the military's technological foray into replacing humans with machines in combat situations. In a joint military exercise with Cambodia, China unveiled two versions of the equipment, one that can fire at the enemy, and a lighter one that can be used to identify targets. The robot dog ready for direct combat has an assault rifle attached to its top and weighs 50 kilograms. The other 15 kilograms robot is designed to replace human recruits in reconnaissance missions, and can identify the enemy by providing real-time transmission of footage to military posts. Given the geopolitical tensions between China and India, the induction of robotic mule dogs is in line with what the Indian Army sees as its broader strategy to incorporate artificial AI and robotics into its operations. By leveraging these advanced technologies, the Army aims to enhance operational efficiency, improve the safety of its personnel, and maintain a technological edge in modern warfare. Although many defense experts have been claiming that the traditional battlefield has been on its last leg and that most warfare will be fought in the cyber world, in reality, the traditional battlefield simply refuses to die. Instead, it becomes even more complex and complicated with the increasing deployment of robotics and AI. AeroArc is the company that supplies robotic mules to the Indian Army. AeroArc is a licensed manufacturer of Boston Dynamics robotic mules, with some components sourced locally. The Indian Army is also developing robotic mules in collaboration with the Indian Institute of Science, IISC. The Army estimates that it will need around 100 robotic mules. The robot dog archetype was first developed by Boston Dynamics, a former Google subsidiary, and has already been inducted by the U.S. military and the police. According to the Massachusetts State Police, in March this year, one of the robotic dogs was shot at during a house inspection and may have saved a real dog or human officer from harm. If you like the video please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for watching.